Hey YouTube, this is Nova Piper on a Saturday morning on vacation. Uh, yesterday I went on a, yesterday I took a little adventure, um, hopped on a bus, hopped on a ferry, went downtown, went into a tobacco shop, Seabirds Tobacco here in Halifax. It's uh, almost 150 years old. 1870 that's when it was first founded and um, my mission was to go buy a pipe and I was lucky enough to uh, you know, I took some video uh, from like during the whole day so I took a you know showing my trip it might be a little long some parts are hard to make out but I was just showing some scenery it was a pretty shitty day yesterday hopped on the ferry I got the um, a video of the ride across the harbor on the ferry. Just happened to see a whale. It's on the video if you zoom in, but I don't know if I'll be able to make it out. I'll try to highlight it for you. And yeah, then I stopped off in a in, into a tobacco shop and you know picked me up a pipe. So um, here's the video of that. I'll be back when we're done. Hey guys, here we are in downtown Dartmouth. And I'm just uh, taking a look out over the harbor. There's a little, I don't know how well you can see that there. Explains about what we're about to see. Here's a look out at the harbor, downtown Halifax in the distance. You can see the ferry just coming in now. It's the oldest saltwater ferry in North America. I think it's, it's, the sign said 1752, so you do the math. This says there it was a uh, used to be a 35 minute crossing. So they, of course, you had to paddle over, but yeah, it's the oldest uh, the oldest ferry service in North America for salt water. I think I don't know if there's a difference for fresh water or how it works, but it's kind of a shitty day. Cloudy. I'm on vacation this week, so I thought I'd uh, I might take a trip around and try to get some shots of some cool locations, but. Anyway, there's a view out the harbor, out at the Atlantic. Not much of a view, they gotta cut them trees down a bit. Anyway, let's stay tuned for more clips. We're waiting here to go across the ferry now. Take a little picture while we're waiting. Quite a few people. Little fake owl. I don't know if, how well the audio is, but we're going across on the ferry from Dartmouth to Halifax. I'm going to try to get the whole thing. The boat's filled with a bunch of kids and tourists, so it's a little noisy. We'll try to we'll try to see how it, how it turns out. Here we are just I'm facing forward. These ferries kind of can flip around. There's really no bow, no stern. It's just like a big bubble. Try to stay as stable. It's a little overcast today. Kind of a shitty day. Take a little pan around. There's a whale out there. I just saw a whale. Let's see if we can 
see him again. Little pilot whales come in here from time to time. to see it, I'll tell you. Oop, I'm get my camera down a bit. Now, if I do see the whales surface again, I'm gonna, I'll have to point it out to some of the tourists, because you don't, something you don't see all the time. Easily to see the pop-up take off. guys are taking pictures. I just saw a whale sticking up over there. Really? Yeah. I saw him twice now since we've been sitting here. I don't think they really care. <laughs> today so be able to get a close-up of the Navy ships kind of hard to see there's our only destroyer in the Canadian fleet engine problem it's still in commission but it doesn't sail there's the largest ship in the Canadian Navy which is decommissioned an old supply ship Destroyer, and I think that's a, I think that uh, it's a preserver class. I don't know if that's the preserver. But they, I believe it is. The rest of them are all Halifax class frigates. Three three zero is the first Halifax uh, frigate to carry that name. Three three zero. see that across the way that's what we call the harbor hopper it's an old that green thing is an old uh, amphibious landing vehicle from the Vietnam War and they redid them to uh, this tourist vehicle so they travel around the streets and then they come into the water do a little tour Different perspective of the Navy ships. It'll be the casino there. It's called Purdy's Wharf. There's towers over there, office towers. There's Theodore T. 
tugboat. Out that way. In the ocean, here comes the ship coming in now. A lot of cargo comes in and out of here. A lot of boxes. There's two container beers. One at the mouth of the harbor, one a little further in. side of the harbor it's all tourists it's done up really nice but it's as a you know for locals it's just a tourist trap everything's way overpriced lots of bars and <laughs> liquor like crazy but you know, lots of good fish fresh fish Nova Scotia is known for its lobster you know, America says Maine lobster is the best but I beg to differ I can't stand this stuff but we're known for our lobster the kids, the daycare. Can't wait to get out of here. your ride across the harbor. The oldest saltwater ferry in North America. Time to get off. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. This is the oldest tobacco shop we have around. Sieverts. It's about 150 years old. I'm going to go buy a pipe, see if the guys will let me take some video. Okay. I'm in Sievert's Tobacco, a little place here in Halifax. And apparently the store's been around, when did it first open? 1870 is when it first opened and it's been in this location since 1906. And unfortunately here, you can't display everything like you can in some parts of the world. Buying a Peterson, just haven't got it figured out. Great little spot if you're in Halifax. Come check it out. Yeah. I want them all. I'll buy one of these guys, I think. Yeah, it's nice stuff. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, that's a pre pretty cool little shop. You could hear the floors creaking with people walking around, so 
it was the guy's great grandfather who first opened it. And then I think, uh, you know, he's, he's been here a hundred years, over a hundred years in that same spot. You know, it's, uh, what do you say, almost 150 years they've been in the city altogether. That's pretty old compared to anywhere. So I did happen to pick up a pipe. I got it here, I thought I'd show you. 2012 Peterson Christmas pipe in the box back the shape is a zero five it's kind of a matte finish on it Here's the, ooh, I guess you got to do it slow. There we go. So it's a nice pipe. It's got some serious curves to it. I'm not really sure how well it's going to smoke, but it's awful pretty. I don't know if you can see it in the video. The got some pretty cool bird's eye going on there. you can see that. I'm not going to do it again. Yep, haven't even smoked it yet. It's got a pretty big bowl on it. Got to put a softy bit on it. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I got yesterday. So I'm going to uh, check out the pipe, load her up, and have a smoke and see how it goes. Thanks for watching.